In this uh, video, we are going to learn how to create multilingual website or web application in ASP.NET. When we say multilingual website or web application, what I mean is that a single web application serves the request uh, from uh, for the users uh, from different languages. For example, we have a website called .netfunda.com. If uh, we want to build uh, this website in such a way that if someone from USA is trying to browse the website then all the contents will come in, in English language and if someone from India is trying to uh, browse the website then the same content will automatically come in the Hindi language. So if we want to develop this kind of website where a single website or, or web application can serve uh, uh, can be served in multiple languages then we can uh, follow this approach. So first here uh, my, uh, in this demo what I am going to do is that I am going to create one uh, login page dot aspx. Uh, see my page will look like this. Yeah, my, my login page will look like this where I will have uh, please login um, a text and then username and password text and then we will have a button called submit and there will be two text boxes. Now what I will do is that I, I, I will first browse this website uh, from the browser whose language will be set as the English and then I will try to browse the same uh, web page uh, uh, from the browser whose language will be set as the Hindi. Now uh, what I should achieve is that if I am browsing, browsing this particular uh, web page from uh, the browser whose language is set as English then all these contents are should be displayed in, Engl in English language and if I am browsing from the Hindi language uh, browser then all my uh, content of this page should come in Hindi language. So let's see how to uh, achieve this. Now, So for that what I am going to do is that I am going to first create one uh, page called login page dot ASPX. Let me do that. So let's go ahead and create one uh, page called login page. So I am going to add one login page here in my application. Login page dot ASPX. And now let me copy paste uh, the code from my ebook. So here is my code, copy and uh, paste and then again I am copying the rest of the code till table and then paste. Now let me arrange them, yes. Now you might uh, notice that one extra uh, property is added in all the server control and I am going to delete them because I, I do not need it for now and that property was basically meta resource key. I will tell you what is that. So first I am going to delete all of them. All the meta resource key from all the server control whether it is a, uh, a required field validator or it is a text box or it is a label. So I'm going to delete all of them. Yes. Now let me make sure that there's no meta here. Okay, there is one more meta here, so I'm going to delete this as well. Yeah, so there is no meta now. Now let me explain uh, the code of this page. In this page we have a HTML table and in the first row we have written LBL title and uh, the text of this LBL title label is basically please login and then we have uh, another label and the text of this label is username and then we have password and we have a required field validator for the uh, TXT username so that user will have to enter their username otherwise he will or she will not be able to submit the uh, page on the server and then we have a txt pass, uh, label password and its text is password and then we have a, a password uh, uh, text box ideally I should have a txt mode equal to text mode equal to password so let me write it down and then we have a required field validator for this password text box as well so just to make it mandatory 
and then we have a submit button and its text is submit now if I will browse this page let me browse this page and show you how it will look like okay so it is throwing error because I think we have not uh, mentioned this login now as server side method so let me create a login now service server side method so protected void object sender event ERGS e okay now let me just refresh this now you can see that my login uh, page is looking like this please login username password and the submit now you must notice one uh, very important uh, thing here is that even to write the text on the page for example uh, this please login or username and password I have not directly written the plain text on the ASPX page but I have used the label and this is very important okay if you have to uh, use uh, create a globalized, uh, globalized or localized application th and then you will have to put all your text into the server controller so that that server controls text gets changed based on the language selected in the browser okay if you write the plain text then you will not achieve the globalization in your application so in 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 any case if any content should be written on the page that must be in the form of server control either level or literal or any other server controls so that's why to to render a simple text also uh, like uh, uh, please log in username and password I am using the uh, label control you can see that for LBL title for title of the page for LBL username for label of the page LBL password for password of the page you can see these things okay now once we are done what we need to do is that we need to create a, a localized file for this particular page okay so for that what we need to do we need to go to the tools menu and click on generate local resource so let us go to the tools menu but before we will go to the tools menu we will have to make sure this login page dot ASPX is in the design mode if this page will not be into the design mode then we will not be able to get this particular menu generate local resources so I am into the design board of login page dot ASPX and then I am clicking get, get generate local resource once I have done that then you will notice that one app underscore local resources folder has been created and for this page login page dot ASPX so one login page dot ASPX dot RESX means resource file has been gener generated for this so and uh, one minute let me save this page now now if you go to the source code of this page you will notice that the the meta resource key has been generated remember that when I had copied and pasted from the uh, PDF this uh, the, uh, this was written but I had removed now this meta and resource key is generated automatically when you go to the tools menu and click on the generate resource uh, for th this particular page and now for every control okay for every server control you will see that one meta resource key has been added here and uh, apart from that you will notice that in the page directives also culture is added and then meta resource key, resource key is added apart from that your UI culture is also added so all these changes are made because when uh, because we went to the tools menu and cl cl clicked on generate local resource uh, option now let us go and examine the login page dot ASPX dot resource uh, file and here you will notice that for every uh, server control for button for password for title and for all the server controls we have corresponding values here for example for for btn submit dot text we have submit you can see here btn submit we have btn submit resource one dot text see here dot text for password lbl resource lbl password resource one dot text lbl password resource one dot, dot text and it's text is password so for every server control on the page we have a, a corresponding properties here and that value is automatically written and that value will be automatically written in the english language now if we want to create a resource file for the Hindi language then what we need to do is that we need to 
just uh, dupl duplicate this resource file so I am just copying and pasting again so that one duplicate resource file will be created and then what we need to do is that we need to rename this particular file let me let me tell you how to rename that so let me just go ahead and uh, read this one to create resource file for the different language copy the existing resource file and rename it to the specific language the convention is that the file name should have the language word as per IETF for, ex for example to create resource file for Hindi we need to uh, name it like login page dot aspx and hi and in because hi and in is the language specification as per the IETF dot resx so let me just uh, copy and paste it so yes and you can see that we already have a login page dot aspx and what what I need what I changed is that only this much so I just put this in between ASPX and RESX and then enter now when we will go that then wh what we need to do is that for all these value we will have to write into the Hindi language because this resource file is in the Hindi so in order to write into the Hindi language I have already a resource file and I'm just copying uh, going ahead and copying and pasting those values so this is in Hindi for submit for password this you might not find the correct Hindi word here but I think it will be uh, more than enough to understand yes and for this also yes now what I did here I actu actually went to the login page dot aspx dot hi dash in dot resx page and replaced all the values of English into the Hindi language okay and once we have done that then we are almost done okay now what we need to do is that we need to simply run this login page dot aspx so I'm going ahead and uh, running my login page dot aspx now because my browser language is set in English it means that I am I'm uh, I'm the person who understand English so that's why my browser uh, language has been set in English so that's why what is happening is that all the resource value resource key value of English is coming by default on the page but as soon as I will go to the tools menu internet options languages and add my primary language as Hindi and I will make it as my primary language by moving up and then OK and then OK now when I will run this page you will notice that the same page text is getting converted into the Hindi language see here now what is happening because my language is Hindi so that's why this resource file login page dot aspx dot hi dash in dot rsx file is being used to render all the text of those server controls for the for the uh, for the title for the uh, LBL username for the LBL password and for the button so this is how we basically uh, uh, implement the uh, globalization and localization in, in ASP.NET so you notice here that I have not changed even a single line of code into the uh, into the login.aspx page neither in the ASPX page neither, uh, nor into the code behind and my same page is acting differently based on the language specified into the end users browser so this is the benefit of uh, globalization and, localiz and localization in ASP.NET you do not need to change any single line of code you just need to create a different different uh, uh, resource file for every page for example if I would have two pages here then I would have to create a, a resource file for both pages so in this case if I am here I'm just focusing on login page dot ASPX and if I want to support 10 different languages for this login page dot ASPX then I will have to create 10 different login uh, resource file login page resource files here for each different languages for the way I have created for the Hindi in the same way we will have to create for the all different different languages so that's a little uh, a, a more work in terms of creating the resource file but uh, if, if you talk about uh, you know changing the code or uh, maintenance 
then there is no maintenance uh, headache here or there is no headache of changing the code uh, in, in the application in order to support uh, more than uh, one languages once you are done with the creation of the resource file specific to the page then you do not need to write any line of code or you do not need to ch change any line of code into your applications so i uh, hope uh, this was useful